Bismillah. If you say Bismillah, a curtain between you and the jinn. Yeah. But how many of us come out of bed in the morning and you want to get your coffee from the kitchen? I stopped doing that. <laughs> After learning this. Guess what? The jinni is looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's going to go inside that body because he loves you. Let's Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go Fanny Mungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. And this one right here. Before we even get to the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody who've been giving us reaction videos. You're the realest MVP. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I know we're gonna get there in two days. It's very possible. And also uh, we have a, a new channel which is, which is called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Feel free to just go and subscribe. The link is gonna be on the description below, or it's gonna be on the on the comment section. We're gonna pin it down there. Just make sure to hit that sub, uh, subscription button or the link down there, and then subscribe. And feel free to just you know watch our videos. I mean, they're really amazing. Just let us know what you want us to do. We are based in Cyprus. We can do a lot of things concern, concerning Cyprus and whatnot. Just let us know in the comment section. Somebody suggested that we should go do uh, more of ancient um, videos. We should show them the museum and whatnot. Probably that's what we're going to do for our next video. And for this channel right here, we do a lot of reaction videos. If you have any kind of reaction videos, we're going to do it for you. And we will really, really appreciate uh, you so much. Don't feel limited. We react to everything. Yeah, anything, funny videos, music, music videos, anything, movies, uh, reviews, anything that you want us to react to, we're going to do it for you. So right about now, a lot of people suggested to, uh, suggested that we should go react to three reasons why Jean enter the body. Jean series. So, I mean, um, do you know what jeans are? Something bad. Jeans are like bad spirits or something. I don't know. Like yeah, back in those days when we were young, we were, we were really scared of jinns and we used to think that... You know what, the, what jinn means? Yes, like in, in Swahili we call them jinni, you understand? Just like the jinni in the... the what? The cartoon? Yes, the cartoon, yeah. I mean, we used to be really scared, we used to think that there are jinnies in this, uh, in cats back in my country where we used to live. We used to be really scared of cats and whatnot. We were told like they change into humans during during uh, night hours and stuff like that. I don't know how that how true that was. I think it was just a myth. But anyway, guys, let's find out three reasons why Jin enters the body. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. What are the reasons a jinni would enter inside your body? What would cause that? Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah named three reasons. Number one, jinn are a creation like us who do have the freedom to choose. So they could commit sins and they could commit injustice just like that. Like human, you know, we, we, we wrong one another for no reason. So he said the first reason that jinni, the jinni would oppress the insi. He just doesn't like your, your, your face. He looks at you like, I don't like this guy. Yeah. Of course, you don't know what. You don't see him. He mentioned the second reason, love. That the jinni actually may love you. The last for love. When you go through your bedroom and, and wearing nothing basically and you're walking around like this, guess who's watching you? The jinni is watching you. Well, then the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us what to do when we take off our clothes. Bismillah. If you say Bismillah, a curtain between you and the jinni. Yeah. But how many of us come out of bed in the morning and you want to get your coffee from the kitchen? I stopped doing that <laughs> after learning this. Guess what? The jinni is looking. Mm -hmm. 
and he's going to go inside that body because he loves you. Actually, a lot of the, especially, no offense for the sisters, especially with the women, with the sisters. A lot of the sisters are possessed by jinn because of that reason, that the jinni actually likes the women. That's why the, the women also should be careful about the way that she dresses in, inside her bedroom and so forth. Number three, Dhakar Shaykh al-Islam, that you unintentionally inflicting harm upon the jinni, like pouring hot water in the ground and the happiness jinni is out there. You harm the jinni. Now vengeance now, he want to get at you. Now what can save you also from this saying Bismillah? Anything that you do say Bismillah. You're safe from that. Can the jinni enter the body of the human just like that anytime? Anytime? The answer is no. I'm talking about the position. There are four conditions. The jinni would enter into the body of the human. To possess it. Number one, the extreme anger. When you become so angry, jinn actually goes inside you at this, at this stage. What did the Prophet ﷺ say to us when we get upset, angry, when we get mad? If you're sitting down, stand up. If you're standing up, sit down. Why? You want to upset the position of the jinni inside you. You don't want to make him comfy. Because as long as you're in your position and you're upset, he's the one who's now directing that body. Well, hadith, ya ikhwa, Sulaiman ibn Sult, he was sitting next to the Prophet a companion, and he, he got so angry, you know, when you get so angry that your face, what? And things come out of your mouth, you know, to do like this. I said, inni la a'lam kalima. I know a statement if he says, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. The second case here is extreme or excessive fear. Excessive fear, the state of excessive fear. You're vulnerable during these conditions. So excessive anger or excessive fear that you're so fearful, you're afraid. Jinn can actually go inside you at this stage. Number four, excessive heedlessness. That you're not paying attention to, you're, you're, you know, you're you don't say the adhkar, you enter into the bathroom, you, you know, like when you eat, you're not saying bismillah, when you enter the house, you don't say bismillah, and so forth. Case number four, the time when you're so much into your desire. You know, when you're watching a scene, let's say porno, porno, pornographic, something like that, pornographic, that's what came, and you're focused with it. You're so much into the scene. That is when jinn actually can enter into your body. You're very vulnerable at this stage. When you're so much into that unlawful uh, behavior. Jinn can penetrate your body at this stage. Even with your uh, married spouse, even with the lawful one, you're supposed to make a dua that Allah would protect you from what? Shaitan at this stage. Shower, like in the shower, you can get naked. That's why he says, even if you go, you want to use the bathroom, mm -hmm. say, Is it bismillah? Uh, oh, yeah, you say bismillah. Ah, the, the moment you say bismillah, then they can't. Wow, it's like you're protected. Yeah, wow, wow, that's deep, though. You've never heard such a thing. I've never heard about being naked, but I've heard about the when you're hungry, there's some certain spirits that go into you. That's what I've heard. Just about. when you're angry, that's why I keep telling you when you're idle. As well. Yes, yes, yes. Even idol, even idol. I think even happiness. 
when you're extremely happy too. I think this. It's very hard for you, but yeah, yeah, to come, yeah. Possess you when you're happy because maybe happy. you're doing something right. Yeah. But when you're sad, you're thinking of bad things. When so you're, you're, you're vulnerable, like you said. Yeah. You're to vulnerable. Think of anything, yeah. Any, anything can penetrate you. Even when you drink alcohol or when you're into any it's drugs. It's almost everything, even yeah. just listening to music. Yeah, listening to music too. I mean, this music of nowadays, okay? Wow. This is, this, is, this is it. So, from today, man, like, you know, walking naked. So, now, like, let's say, for example, you're not in Islam or you're not in any. What, what are we supposed to say? My friend, you've learned something. <laughs> Use that. <laughs> Use that. From now on, I'm going to say this. <laughs> What does peace be like mean anyway? You can Google peace it. Peace be upon. No. You can Google it. Yeah, I'll Google that anyway. But if, if you can tell us what does peace be like mean in the comment section below. So if there's anything that you can say yeah. when in these situations. Just let us know in the comment section below. Because even, 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 even eating, like, you know, I've, I've had friends, before they start eating, they say peace be like, before they do anything, they say, before they drive, they say, so that means genes are everywhere and they can enter you at any particular point. So the moment you say the word, you say Bismillah. If even when eating, you know. That. Oh, but then that shouldn't be new to you. Yeah. I mean, there is bad spirits roaming around us all the time. Yeah, like when you go to a hotel, you order food, you don't know who cooked the food, what energy was using, and stuff like that. That's very dangerous too. So you have to and say. Do you actually know that the energy. You have when you're cooking actually. Yeah, it's true. Passed on to the food you're making. Yeah, it's true. That's why. It, also, someone have said. You, sorry. Sorry. Have you ever had a, uh, uh, not a say, but people saying that I put my put your thoughts into the food. You get it. Like cook that food with happiness and love. with love and everything, so that when you serve it, the person will be able to enjoy the food. You get it. Very very deep. Very deep. I Very think deep. you just have to say that word whenever you're doing anything or everything. Because yeah. there's one, what was I trying to say? Even just a seat. When you go to the maybe barber shop, yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't know that person that was seated in that seat. Yeah. What was going on with them? You don't know that person that used maybe that machine before you or that comb. I mean, they say Bismillah everywhere they go to. Anywhere they. Towards any destination, towards any de de uh, departure and arrival. You have to. Yeah. It's like saying prayer before you do anything, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how many people do that? You understand? Do what? How many people say that? Say something before they do yeah. something? For this Islam, they say Bismillah. What about now, uh, like uh, Christians? I think they pray. Some Christians pray, but then yeah. I don't think anyone has ever thought of. Mm. Maybe there's no one has ever. No, no, no one has ever thought about that. Like when you walk naked, <laughs> something is, no. is watching. No. Something is always watching. So like you're telling me. No, I've what gone, you're telling I've me. I've gone is through say, Sunday school. I've gone you, through Sunday school. Forget Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Now you're telling me you never thought there is something watching you. Of course, I know there's so, some spirits moving around, yeah? So when you get naked, what do you think is looking at you? No one? Uh, probably it's, it's looking at you, but I've never thought so about it. Doesn't it doesn't matter about I've never Sunday thought school. about it that deep. No, by Sunday school, I mean that uh, I wasn't taught such things. We were taught about yeah, just... too young to even process that information. But now as you grow older, just think for yourself. No, 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 no. no you can't no. think for yourself? You can't tell me you're too young to force a start in It doesn't matter. You see, That's what I'm saying. Don't blame it on Sunday school. Now you're old enough. You know no, there's yeah, exactly. spirits ro roaming everywhere. So you just never thought there's something watching you. I knew the spirits roaming everywhere, but I never thought that they look at you oh, when you're in this position. What you get do you it? think they do? Some are just thoughts? doing their own thing. Probably just fasting, doing their own things, but not looking at you. You ah, get it? doesn't look like that. You see. Anyway, I mean, it's... It, it's true and somebody said our eyes can't see everything you get it just because um, the reason as to why we can't see 
things like the way maybe babies do, maybe these animals like cats do, is because of, of what we've been subjected to, or what we've been we've been indoctrinated, what we've been infiltrated, or something like that. What we we've been subjected to. Okay? There's so much that our mind has to an extent of not focusing on the spiritual part of it. You understand? We can we can see a lot of things with our eyes, but we are limiting ourselves. That's why we can't see the spirits that are roaming around. That's why probably you have to say this in each and every situation that you do. Yeah, so anyway guys, if you feel like we've got this video not as give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about this reaction. This is really informative, very, very important. Very, very important. Just let us know in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you but think... Is that, sorry. Is that an English term for Bismillah? 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 Bis, yeah, Bismillah. Just let us know which is the English term of Bismillah. You're going to be Bismillah. really... Bismillah? Bismillah, yeah. Are you sure? Because you're fond of making up your own words? No, it's Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Just let us know in the comment section below. What do you think? Just let us know if there's an English uh, term of Bismillah. We're going to be really, really happy to hear that. And the most important thing, that don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more people subscribing, the more give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. Peace out.